Welcome to Introduction to Accounting, Preparing for a User's Perspective. Prepare pre-adjusted trial balance. In prior videos, we learned how to identify economic transactions, analyze them, determining their increase or decrease effect on various accounts, converted that into debit and credit journal entries in the general journal, posted the journal entries to the account ledger so their balances could be determined, and now we're ready to prepare the pre-adjusted trial balance to make sure that the total debit balances equal the total credit balances for all accounts. We do that so we don't leave a mistake in the accounts before we go too far. It winds up saving us time if we can catch mistakes earlier rather than later. This is just a visual summary of what we just said. We identified transactions, analyzed them, recorded them in the general journal, posted them to the ledger, and now we're ready to prepare the pre-adjusted trial balance, after which we'll do the adjusting entries, analyze, record, post, and prepare the adjusted trial balance, and prepare the financial statements. And then we'll go through and we'll close all temporary accounts, recording them, posting them, and preparing a post-closing trial balance. You should recall this diagram from the prior video. This is every single ledger account in the business that we've dealt with so far and their respective debit or credit balances. What we're now going to do is we're going to take all the debits, add them up on a list, and all the credits, add them up on the same list, and we're going to take the total of all debits, which is going to be 268,800, and deduct all of the credits, which will also be 268,800, and the sum of that is zero. So debit shows positive numbers, credit shows negative numbers when we prepare the trial balance. So to prepare the pre-adjusted trial balance, we simply get the account balances of all the accounts. And if it's a debit in the account balance, we put a debit as a positive number here. If it's a credit as an account balance, we put it as a negative number over here. And the parentheses indicate a negative. It's a very mechanical process, so I don't need to say a lot about the process. Just take the numbers and move them over. Completing that, we'll see that the total adds up to zero, meaning the debits were exactly equal to credits. And hooray, it balances. Next, we'll go through those five recurring steps of the accounting cycle. But we're going to do it with adjusting entries because some of these accounts, for example, prepaid insurance, maybe we've used up some of this prepaid insurance and it needs to be expensed. Maybe we need to depreciate the building because we've used it for one month. Maybe we need to record interest expense for interest on this note payable for one month. So there's some adjusting entries we will need to record in order to properly state these accounts to be used in the actual financial statements. Here's another way of looking at the same thing using the actual ledgers themselves rather than the T accounts, but they effectively say the same thing. As you can see here, 41,100 debit, 41,100. So I'm not going to throw all those arrows over there, but you should get the idea that it's the same process. And once again, hooray, it bounces because it's all the same data. So what we just finished is these five steps up through the pre-adjusted trial balance. Now, some of the accounts in the pre-adjusted trial balance are not yet adjusted for accrual accounting. The revenue recognition principle and the matching principle may indicate that some of them need adjusting entries so that they are correct. By recording the adjusting entries, we'll go through that process again to get to the adjusted trial balance and thereby be able to prepare the financial statements. And then we will continue with the closing entries later on. So that's it for this. Prepare pre-adjusted trial balance. I hope it made sense to you. Good luck on the quiz.